Well, hi, good morning, and welcome to Advent. I'm Sarah, one of the ministers here at the church. I'm so glad that I'm able to spend Monday morning or whenever it is that you're watching this with you. We've begun a journey that we started yesterday around Advent. Advent is the anticipation and the waiting for and the longing for the arrival of Christ as Emmanuel, God with us, that we celebrate this season. This year together, we're taking a journey into God's great story through different people who are average humans just like us. We're exploring together what it means both to be normal humans, but normal humans who are invited to join with God in the good and wonderful work that God is about in the world. Yesterday, we kicked off Advent by exploring some of Elizabeth's story. And if you weren't able to join us for worship, I'd encourage you, go to our YouTube page, and you can either watch the alternative, the traditional service, or you can watch both of them. I just wanted to encourage you as we begin Advent to think a little bit about your own experiences of this season. What reminds you of the greatness of this story and invites you to bring yourself into it? And then also some individual invitations to you that we have that'll be happening in the life of our collective body and church over these next few weeks. For me, one of my favorite memories about Christmas is that every Christmas Eve, my family would read the Luke 2 story by the light of the Christmas tree. And then even when I was a kid, we would open up sparkling cider as we would welcome and celebrate the arrival of Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us. That's a tradition that up until today snuggled around the Christmas tree that I love to do. Uh, how about you? What are some of those anticipations, moments of being either with family or friends or just moments of meaningful time reflecting on what this season means? We'll be exploring that together in these next weeks. And some of the ways you can do that is through our very own Advent devotional. The Advent devotional is something you can sign up for on our website. You'll get a daily email, or you can pick up the copy like I have in our Connection Corner or here at the church office anytime in the coming weeks. The Advent devotional will be following the rhythm of our Sunday where we will be focusing on one of the character's stories who's part of God's great story. So this week, we are sitting with Elizabeth's story, having delved a little bit more into the full text of scripture that tells her story. And then each day you get to hear an exciting perspective on that story from one of our community members, ranging from kids who are part of our community, high schoolers, all the way up to the most elder of our elders in our community. So it invites you to join along for that journey as we live into God's great story together. Again, you can get the emails online or pick up your copy at the church office. In addition to the Advent devotional and the wonderful rhythms of worship where each Sunday we'll be lighting the Advent wreath together looking for hope and all of the different candles that that light brings until we get to the Christ candle. But additionally, we'll be joined together for one collective worship service for Lessons and Carols on December 19th. And we have other wonderful things that will be happening in worship on Christmas Eve. There are three services we will be hosting in the Meeting House at 3 p.m. for the entire family. It's going to be a, a Georgie special Christmas that you won't want to miss at 3 p.m. And then at 7 p.m. in the Meeting House, we'll be hosting an alternative service that will be candlelight. And spoiler alert, both that service and also our traditional service at 9 p.m. will end with candlelight and the singing collectively together of Silent Night. So you can worship with us on Christmas Eve, 3 p.m., 7 p.m., or 9 p.m. Additionally, as a whole community, as you've been hearing, on December 11th, we are joining together for what's going to be a great time outside 10 a.m. Come snow or warm sun, we will be together on the 11th from 10 until noon. So just would encourage you this morning, as you begin this journey of Advent, 
take a moment, pause, and reflect upon the gift of this season, what it's meant and what it might mean for your life. How once again, in the midst of whatever is happening in your life and in our world, we are invited to look for and await the advent of the Christ child, the God who came through the body of a woman to be the life force that changed everything, pointing us all home to know God who is with us and for us. For indeed, unto us a child will be born. The wonderful counselor. So might you know this great love. Might it change and transform all of us. That we might be the church. And that we, as followers of Jesus, might then live out this good news and this life in our world. I hope you have a wonderful week. I'm so grateful to be able to journey through Advent into Christmas with you. Rejoice, rejoice.